his role in my 4-3-3, it's easy. He should be an advanced playmaker. Even the game says so. You gotta be joking. He looks so average. I'll probably sell him. What am I doing here anyway? Wrong, wrong. He's best played as a Mazala. He has flair, passing and vision. Seriously, this boy, he has got off the ball. He's got positioning. Just play him as a box-to-box -box midfielder. It's so obvious. So what role should he play? My name, my name, my name is Daljit. Welcome to the show. This reminds me of a discussion I had with a couple of guys on the forums a few years ago with respect to Kevin De Bruyne and what role he should be playing in the game. We had a whole faction that was going Mazala. We had another faction that was going Deep Line Playmaker. We had another faction going Roaming Playmaker. And you'd see these arguments fly in over, you know, about what role is best for him. The point I want to try and make is that Kevin De Bruyne comes with a fantastic spread of attributes and phenomenal traits. So why don't you just allow the poor lad to express himself? When you play him as a central midfielder on support, he is not going to be governed by any rules that are specifically set aside for the role. In fact, he could even play better in a generic role. Welcome to the channel which brings you content on the Game Football Manager. Here you'll find me doing short form content. I also stream three times a week on a separate channel. Please join me there as I you know, invite you to bring your saves along on Mondays and Wednesdays. And on Fridays, you'll see me with my own playthroughs. I hope to see you there. Now, today's video is going to be quite short. It's going to be about the generic roles in the game. Aha, surprise. It's not about any fandangled role in the game. It's just generic roles and how underrated they can be. Now, if you're new to the game, you almost feel compelled that you need to go into the game and choose a specific role for a player. Because, I mean, if you go in the game, pop up a player's attributes, and immediately the game is going to suggest with some stars whether he should be playing a, as a deep line playmaker, an advanced playmaker, Mazala, or even a roaming playmaker. So what are you going to do? You're going to be stuck in a situation where you're going to ask yourself, should I play him in these roles? Are these the best roles for him? And then what do you do with the formation then? Because then you, you're stuck deciding how you're going to integrate a specific role into a formation. What I'm going to suggest today is if you're in doubt in the game, just go generic. Why? Because a generic role allows a player to express himself via his attributes and his traits. So sometimes you could find yourself with a player who's really balanced across all his attributes and has a couple of nice traits. Then ask that player to play as a CDM on support. This allows a player to express himself in a game and not be defined specifically by what a role tells him to do. So if you chose a role like a Carrerello, then he's specifically told to shuttle between the boxes and not do anything apart than, you know, making sure that the ball moves from defense to attack. In general, when playing someone as a generic role, the one thing you want to remember is that these kind of players will play to their attributes and to their traits. So if a player has good attributes in dribbling, decision-making, vision, passing, and he has the trait, tries long-range passes, he could very well end up playing like a playmaker who carries the ball through the tiers. So understanding what these attributes do and how traits play is going to give you more bang for buck in this game than trying to understand what's the difference between an inverted winger and an inside forward and trying to see whether playing one is going to be better than playing as another because I've been getting this question so many times I almost feel compelled to do these kinds of videos right now. I am fairly certain that right now, out there in the community, there are a couple of you going, no, it can't be that easy, can it? I mean, the game has got all these things that you're supposed to use. After all, they've got all these roles. Shouldn't I be choosing them? Now, I want to know from you whether or not you've ever used generic roles in the game because I have used lots of generic roles. I've used the white midfielder and gone gleefully happy into the game. I've also used the CM on support. In fact, I have got a 4-2-3-1 that has two central midfielder roles in it, in the set core of midfield. Because I wanted my players to express themselves in the, a tactic which was quite fluid. 
So let me know in the comments below how you feel about these kinds of generic roles. So let's go try this out. We've got Jorginho, central midfielder on support within a 3-4-3. Check out his traits, comes deep to get the ball, dictates tempo, something we all love playmakers to have. And his attributes, passing vision decisions, agility, balance and some flair suggest that this player can play those kind of passes. Let's make things a bit interesting by pairing Jorginho up with Engolo Conte as another central midfielder on support. Now we have two of them in the same 3-4-3. Angolo Conte likes to switch the ball to the wider areas, runs with the ball and also has passing vision decisions, flair, agility and balance. A player can play in any role. Ultimately, it's going to be his traits and attributes that define how that role will be played. Whether you're a new player or a veteran player, whether you're a player that plays network games or you like to play by yourself, don't let anyone ever tell you not to play with a generic role like a central midfielder because don't knock it till you try it. My name is Daljit. Thank you for watching today's show. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, please hit the like and the subscribe button. Let me know how your experiments with your generic roles come along. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. You guys take care. Stay safe. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.